Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be flying high into the sky to examine a creature that almost certainly belongs on the ground with the Uma Uma no Mi. The Uma Uma no Mi is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a horse as well as a human horse hybrid. Or in this case, I should more accurately say a horse bird hybrid because it was eaten by Pierre, a sky dot bird turned noble steed of Garn Fall, and it was first brought into evidence during the Sky Pier arc. This fruit takes its name directly from the Japanese word for horse being Uma. This word is so basic that it even has a whole kanji to itself. And if you look very carefully, it even looks like a horse. See, here are its legs. And here's the uh, rest of the horse. Oh, and look, here's an entire stable of horses. Just look at them go. But getting into the benefits of joining the equine kingdom, I think it's fairly safe to say that the physical offerings of a horse surpass that of humanity in near every way. For example, if one was going to invoke the full beast form of the Uma Uma no Mi, then they would have access to an average galloping speed of anywhere between 40 to 48 kilometers per hour, a speed that makes us look like turtles in comparison. However, there is potential to travel even faster as the highest speed ever recorded for a horse was just over 70 kilometers an hour. And another massive boost comes in the form of strength as horses are capable of pulling up to three times their own weight. Now, due to the wide variety of clip-clop nays there are out there in the world, it's very difficult to put an average on what that weight may be. But horses can weigh anywhere between 380 kilos to an entire ton. So just looking on the lower end of that spectrum, a user of the Uma Uma no Mi should expect to at least be able to pull over a ton in their full beast form. But there is the amazing potential for that number to end up anywhere between that and three tons. Now we obviously can't expect the full extent of that to still be the case for the human horse hybrid form, but let's rather scientifically make the assertion that becoming a half horse allows you to access half of that strength. Makes sense, yeah? Once again, at the lower end of the spectrum, we're still looking at being able to deal with weight of well over a ton. Now I don't know how much you lift, bro, but the heaviest deadlift ever recorded was 457 points. 0.5 kilograms, and the lifter Andy Bolton was only able to lift it from the floor to his thighs. I mean, I say only as if that's some sort of pathetic effort. It's incredible for a human, that is. For a user of the Uma Uma no Mi, it is a lazy effort on a Sunday morning because you'd more than likely rather still be asleep. Speaking of the hybrid form, though, my original thought was that the user would turn out looking something vaguely centaur-shaped, but that doesn't make a huge amount of sense because it would involve the user growing extra legs. And yes, sadly, I think it's more likely that the human-beast hybrid would look more like a fawn. And yes, I know that's a goat-human hybrid but just replace the goat legs with horse legs and she'll be right, mate. I mean, it's either that or Bojack Horseman, really. So pick your poison. But with that, let's go in completely the opposite direction and examine how Pierre makes use of the Uma Uma no Mi. As a bird, Pierre's hybrid transformation turns him essentially into a pink polka-dotted pegasus. Now, it does need to be noted that this entire devil fruit essentially goes towards serving a joke in the series. And from a narrative perspective, Pierre only has these powers so that his master, Garnfall, can claim that he rides a pegasus. Pierre never really uses his horse abilities for any benefit. Well, any benefit that he could not achieve in his regular bird form anyway. So it's entirely aesthetic, which is a shame because as I've stated already, there is a ton of potential with the Uma Uma no Mi for use in this world. But at the same time, I, I do have to admit that I really do enjoy the Pegasus joke. As for the Awakening, I think this one is pretty clear, primarily because we've already seen an Awakened Zoan user with similar abilities, that being one of the Jailer Beasts in Impel Down. Now, to be clear, Minotaurus had eaten some sort of cow fruit, but I don't see the Awakening of the Uma Uma no Mi playing out that much differently. He would fundamentally become some kind of Minotaur-esque creature with truly absurd strength and incredible recovery. Depending on the exact breed of the horse the Uma Uma no Mi turns the user into, it may even allow the user to gain full control of their Awakened form significantly easier due to the fact that many breeds of horse are docile in nature. Although if it resembles any anything closer to the nature of an ancestral wild horse, then you're probably still going to have quite a difficult time getting your shit together as an awakened horse. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a horse human. Due to horses having eyes on both sides of their head, they actually possess a sort of 360 degree vision, which it isn't a technical 360 degrees, but it is still absolutely exceptional. Although it does come with a problematic blind spot directly in front of their noses. While it's a common belief that horses always sleep standing up, this is far from the truth, as they will lie down to get some of that sweet, sweet REM sleep, as well as for general comfort. Comfort. Male and female users of the Uma Uma no Mi may experience the effects of this devil fruit differently, particularly in the dental region, as male horses have 40 teeth while female horses have 36. Whether or not this actually impacts you at all whatsoever is debatable, but I needed another miscellaneous fact. So looking at our results, what we have is a devil fruit with a lot of raw physical potential. Upon consuming it, you are a very stock standard superhuman, which is great. Although the fruit was not displayed particularly well, or well at all in the series, it should not be underestimated just because it was used as a joke. The core concept of the Uma Uma no Mi grants the user some pretty serious power. And look, maybe, just maybe you have a hankering for some hay here and there. But overall, it's a very solid Zoan fruit. And with that, we are going to commit the Uma Uma no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia.
Next week, we'll be looking at one of the fruits you've all been waiting for, the true power encountered within the realm of the sky, the Goro Goro no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Uma Uma no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.